Uh, my name is Estevan Sandoval. I'm the Director of Men's Basketball Operations for the University of North Dakota. Yeah, um, originally from Santa Fe, New Mexico, I kind of grew up in a gym um, around my dad all the time. Um, was, was basically just baptized in a, in a, in a basketball gym and so uh, just grew up with a, with a burning passion for, for basketball and being a part of a team. And After high school, I, I knew I wanted to stay a part of it, so I went to UNM and um, thankfully my high school coach, uh, Coach Geyer, got me a, a manager spot to, to be a part of a program in college and um, ended up thankfully getting a GA spot with a coaching transition and stayed at the same spot with a different regime at, at UNM and from there I was a JUCO coach for two years. Uh, thankfully Sean Neary had some faith in me at, at Gillette College and uh, Coach Kyle Cooper at Western Texas and had a really good run JUCO wise. Went 43 and like 15 in a COVID, with one COVID year there and kind of led me here, man. You know, the title would probably be, you know, if, it, if you had to dumb it down a little bit, it would be like a team mom, essentially. You know, it's just a little bit of everything and you're kind of guiding the ship a little bit. You're steering the ship as far as where you're going, what's, what's for dinner, you know, how, who's got what gear, what time you're practicing. It's, it's almost every little detail that nobody else needs to worry about except me. Um, so the coaches can coach and the players can play and nobody has to worry about where, where they have to be and what they have to go do. Um, so that's kind of a little bit of what I do. Um, just day-to-day -day tasks are a little bit everywhere, um, but you, you kind of just got to stay organized. And you know, if you're organized, everybody else is organized and things roll pretty smoothly. I would say it's fun. It's a fun stress. It's a kind of a thrill to to go through that kind of a stress. It's like you're trying to make sure everything hits hits the way it should. And when it goes off without a hitch, putting that check mark on that to-do list is pretty pretty nice. Oh man, uh, I like to golf. I really like to golf in the summer. You know, um, being that it's cold outside is not great for me as far as I like to be outside just generally. So. Uh, the, the, the freezing cold is not ideal, but it's basketball season, so we're usually inside anyway. Um, you know, in the summers, I, I really like to, to just be outside. That's kind of a, just getting outside and getting some vitamin D, golfing, you know, fishing, just a little bit of everything outdoors. Yeah, I mean, eventually I, I want to be a head college coach, and you know, I'd like to get back to the JUCO level a little bit too. I think. You know, my experience there was great. I think becoming a junior college head coach would be, would be probably the next aspiration. Um, but I've, I've kind of been four different places, four different years, for the last four years. So I'm trying to, trying to settle down here for a little bit and then, you know, learn as much as I can from Coach Sather and the staff here. Um, and then hopefully, you know, whatever the next career move is, is, is the step forward and something that, you know, I feel like no matter what, I want to I want to reach and impact um, college athletes and, and, and young men, and try and help the trajectory of their life improve. <laughs>